Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio. So today we've got a big update about the holiday calendar, advent calendar, call it what you will. Me, I like advent calendar, that's what I always called it growing up. But we have got all of the promos from the advent calendar, they've got them in confirmed, and this is wonderful. Shout out to Benjamin. Whoa, cringe over on Twitter for providing us with these images and tagging me and being like, hey, we'll see. Do you, do you think people would want to know what's in the advent calendar in terms of promos? And I'm like, yes, yes, I do. Because I want to know and I'm willing to bet a bunch of you probably wanted to know as well. One thing that must be borne in mind, though, and this is very important, unlike last year, there are no exclusive cards. Remember, last year there was a Pikachu in the holiday calendar, which was actually, like, full-on, legit exclusive to the holiday calendar. It was the only place to find it. So, last year's advent calendar, holiday calendar, Fraser, how you will, had an actual exclusive card. This so-so Pikachu promo was an exclusive card that could only be found in the holiday calendar. So, if you are keeping a collection of promos, Black Star promos, etc. You actually had to pick this up. That is not the case here. Now, that does not mean to say this isn't cool and you shouldn't pick it up and these promos aren't awesome. You better believe I'm going to be picking this up. But it is to say that we don't have the same thing whereby there is an actual exclusive promo that you need to pick it up if you are keeping a promo collection. It is to say that there are cool cards, but they are stamped versions of existing cards. And actually also worth pointing out that the stamp is the same as last year, if that's important to you all. Honestly, I prefer the old stamp. If you go back far enough, and we're talking like hard gold, soul, silver, and diamond and pearl era, we're talking a long time ago, we did actually have what I consider to be a superior stamp. Look at this piplup. It was awesome. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we're stuck with this new one. So what have we got? Well, we knew we were getting a Glaceon V because it was on the back. And to be fair, that Glaceon V showed us the stamp was going to be the same as well. But we do have ourselves a Glaceon V. This is, of course, the one that originally came around in Evolving Skies. And look, it's Glaceon. We love Glaceon. For a single energy, you search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and immediately evolve it. So basically, if you've got a decent blocking ability, and we do, you can essentially search for it, immediately evolve up, and then sit there in the active from the first turn. That's pretty gosh darn cool. And I know what some of you are thinking, like, well, hang on a second, Wossy. If we've got ourselves a Glaceon V, wouldn't it be cool if we had a Glaceon V Max? Yes, it would. And yes, we do. This is, of course, the one with the ability Crystal Veil that prevents all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon VMAX. Except a Glaceon VMAX. That can actually still go through. It's a cool card. I mean, the attack is, is fine. Free energy, 150 and 30, 20 your opponent's bench. But I think the point here is that if you're playing this, you're blocking. You're, you're playing defense, right? So it doesn't really matter what your attack is. As long as your attack's like vaguely functional, it, it's going to be okay. Because if your opponent can get through this, it's kind of irrelevant. And if they can't get through this, it doesn't really matter. Uh, worth pointing out, last year we did have a pair of V and V Max. We had Ice Rider Calyrex V. So it's nice to know that we've got the pair coming back here as well. And we have one extra Pokemon V. Last year, we had an extra Ice Q. This year, we've got ourselves an Alolan Vulpix. Cool. That's nice. We get ourselves an extra Pokemon V. So of the eight promos, we got ourselves, well, five regular and three Pokemon V, which is the exact same ratio we saw last year with five regular and three Pokemon V. Alolan Vulpix has got for a single energy 10, but it's 60 if it's in against a Pokemon V. It's fine. It's all right. It's not exactly a, a game-changing card. However, this is from Silver Tempest. And we did actually have a Lowland Vulpix V-Star that came around in Silver Tempest as well. And that is a decent card. Like, I'm not saying it's a game-breaking card or anything silly like that. Because it wasn't. 
But it absolutely has seen play. It's popped up in a bunch of decks. It's seen a little bit of play and a little bit of success. It's a pretty cool card. For zero energy, it's got a V-Star power that does 70 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon V in play. And then free energy, 160. And then during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from any Pokemon that have an ability. Actually sneaky, pretty good. Pretty good for blocking with a decent V-Star power as well. Now, we do have ourselves an abundance of water Pokemon, because ice, because Christmas, because water Pokemon in the Pokemon TCG are water and also ice. But we also get ourselves a Pikachu here. But once again, this is not an exclusive Pikachu. This is not like the so-so promo from last year, which could only be gotten in the advent calendar. This is a reprint of the one from Silver Tempest. Now, it is worth noting it's a hollow, because this is a common card. Obviously, a common card in Silver Tempest was not a hollow. This is. So you've got a cool thing going on here of it's both hollow and it's stamped. So it's much cooler than the regular version of Pikachu, but it isn't exclusive. A uh, single energy Pika Strike, 20 damage. But if one of your Dedene used Dede Short during your last turn, you did 180 more. Th this was kind of like the chain of little attackers that we had in Silver Tempest. It was kind of adorable, honestly. It's a cool little card. But, um, yeah. It, it's not exactly a card which is... Well, I don't think it's fair to say it's not a card which has set the competitive world on fire. It's not really seen any play. The Dedene, of course, had Dede Short, 60 damage for a single energy. And you could only use it if one of your Togedemaru used Toga Dash during your last turn. But it was 60 plus instant paralysis, which is obviously extremely cool. So then we go and remind ourselves what Togedemaru does. And Togedemaru for a single energy, 10 damage, flip a coin. If heads during your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is knocked out, they take no prizes for it. And then you use the Dene, and then you use the Pikachu, and you do a lot of damage, and it's kind of awesome. Doesn't really work, way too gimmicky, but still pretty cool and nice to have the promo of it. And then we got ourselves a Stantler. Why a Stantler? It's reindeer, okay? Pokemon are going for the Christmas theme. We got a bunch of ice Pokemon. Makes perfect sense. Obviously, we got Pikachu because, come on, it's Pokemon and Pikachu. Had to be. And then, you know, Stantler's a reindeer. So that totally fits the Christmas theme. Uh, two energy, 30 damage. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. I'm not going to try and convince you this is a good attack. But I do adore the T0 artwork. And being from Astral Radiance, we've got the Legends Arceus art thing going on here as well. And it's got cool, you know, it, it, it's a Christmas Pokemon. This is really rather lovely and I adore it. And then we finish off with some random ice Pokemon like Snom. Now, I love Snom. I think I've been pretty clear about my love for Snom over the years. But at the World Championships this past year... I also got a lot more love for the artist Yukimori, who does this card. And to be fair, I've always admired Yukimori's art. It's phenomenal. But I was lucky enough to get to make a Magnemite in a clay workshop with Yukimori, which was amazing. I then got to Yukimori's exhibit in Shibuya right before I left Tokyo, where amongst the cards being exhibited was this exact Snom. The Snom that was used to make this card originally. So yeah, that makes this card really very, very cool for me. We've then got a Glastria coming along, and it took a while to get a Glastria card, and we all kind of assumed that it was going to be a better card when it finally arrived. It wasn't, unfortunately. Also worth noting, all of these are individually packaged. They've all got the little packaging on. They're all in their own little plastic booster packs. Make of that what you will. Uh, two energy, 40 damage, and if you hit a basic Pokemon, it can't attack next turn. Fair to say it's not exactly some kind of stunning card, but you know, there is at least a tiny fraction of potential there. And then we finish off with Cryogonal. It's, it's fine. It's the one from Evolving Skies, so the same one your Glaceon comes from. Single energy lets you look at the top six cards of your deck. Attach any basic energy you find to your Pokemon in any way you like. 
And basically, a lot of the time, this is either your opponent's had a slow start, you get a bunch of energy, or you give up a prize to get a bunch of energy. But I still contend that in some decks, this is actually going to be like a legitimately good card because it gets you a whole bunch of energy. And I think that could be kind of cool. So there we go. That's the promos. You know, we look at the back of the box again. We can see it in addition to the eight promos. You also get yourself five regular boosters, seven free card fun packs. Now that's a change. Remember last year was six and six. They've changed it here. Two coins, two sticker sheets, a psychic dangler and a code card. I think the reason to buy this is for the promos. If you want the packs, you can find the packs elsewhere. It's, it's really not the end of the world. What The reason to buy these is very simply for the promos. So it's really up to you guys here. Do these promos look cool enough? If they do, wonderful. If they don't, move on by, ladies and gentlemen. Move on by. For me, you got an advent calendar with stamped promos. There was no chance I wouldn't be picking this up. And I absolutely will be. But I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. Oh, and of course, you get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely SWTV, who's been a supporter of ours for a little while now and seems to be a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.